excited about something? Well, my husband and I had some big news for our kids a while back, and we knew they would be super excited to hear this news. So we set up a secret camera to catch their reaction. And then, on a random Saturday afternoon, we called everyone into the living room for a family meeting. At first, the kids were nervous. Were they in trouble? Was something bad going to happen? But when we told them we had good news to share, they started to get excited. And then we told them. We were going on a family trip to Disney World. Our kids were excited. Here is a video of their reaction to finding out that news. For a trip to Disney. They couldn't contain their excitement. They jumped up and down. They screamed at the top of their lungs. They even started crying. They were so excited over the news and they just couldn't keep their excitement to themselves. And we as their parents were so excited to see their reaction. But there was a time in the Bible when King David got very excited about something and his wife was not impressed. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 6, we learn that David had gathered together 30,000 of his men to go and recapture the ark that their enemies had taken. Now this ark wasn't a boat. This was the ark of God, God's words, their Bible, the presence of God. And it was kept in the temple in the holiest of all places. And their enemies had stolen it. Well, David and his men set out and they were successful. They recaptured their ark. And as they were bringing the ark back into the city of David, back to the place where it belonged, back to the holy temple, well, suddenly the Bible tells us that David couldn't keep his excitement to himself. David began jumping up and down, shouting, yelling, trumpets were sounding. He was dancing in the streets. It was a big party. And as he entered the city gates, his wife Michal was watching from the window. And when she saw her husband dancing in the streets with excitement, she was embarrassed. When David got home later that night, Michal asked him, why are you dancing like that? That's not behavior fit for a king. You should be embarrassed by your reaction. But David said no. I wasn't dancing for you, or the men, or any of the people in the city. I was dancing and praising God, the God who made me a king, the God who helped me recapture the ark. And I'll act even crazier than this just to show my love and appreciation for God. David wasn't dancing to show his appreciation to anybody other than God. David was praising God with his whole heart and mind and body. And that's a lesson for all of us. When we want to praise God, we shouldn't be worried about what other people might think. When we're praising God for the amazing things that He does in our lives, we should be focused just on Him. And if we want to dance and sing, well, we should dance and sing for God. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you so very much that you are a God who does amazing things. Lord, help us to praise you with our whole hearts and minds and bodies. Help us to not be embarrassed by what other people may think. Help us to focus all of our praise only on you. It's in Jesus' name we pray.